So earlier I got on the phone with uh, one of my purchase manager and um, she made an offer to the seller for $335 and the seller is at $350. And the seller, and this is what happened, exactly what happened at the We Life 19, was similar. So the uh, the seller told her that she'll get back to her on Monday. He said that he can probably make it work, but he still want to think about it and get back to her on Monday to see if that's something that he can move forward, which he said that he's very confident. But listen to me. When you are when you are doing it, just it happens to me so many times already. It just you you're just basically might cost yourself a deal. So, and then what I did was I told her, don't call back and say that hey, we can do this amount. <laughs> All right, I told her don't call back and tell him hey we can do this amount. But I told her to call back and to say hey. If we, if I can get my team manager, right, or my company to push up the price and to go to this price, like, I don't know if I could, but if that's something that I can make happen, are you able to move forward and to get this, uh, you know, get the paperwork done and sell your property? You always want to get the commitment before you mention another price, because you know why? Because if you don't, and then you mention another price, Guess what the seller's gonna say? The exact same thing. I might work, it might work, but um, you know, I, I, I still wanna think about it a little bit, right? I, I, I still wanna do some homework. I still wanna talk to someone else about it. But it's, yes, but, he, but, but they're like, yeah, it's very likely that I can make that work. So I told my team manager to go ahead and say, hey, you're at 350 and we're at 335 you know if if I can get my if I can get my company or my team manager you know to go up on price where you know if, if something you would consider split in half so now we have 425 you know if I can get that approved is that something that you're ready to get the paperwork done you know is that something you're ready to move forward and get the paperwork done and sell your property that way the sellers can't just say well, I uh, know, you know what, I still want to think about it. If they said that they're going to think about it, then you're just going to go ahead and ask them. And that's exactly what I told my team manager to do, is ask them. So where, so, so where, where do we need to be in price today? You know, if I can get it approved for us to go ahead and move forward. And he said, yeah, I can do the 42.5. But if, you know, if, if you can get approved for 45, 345, then we got a deal. And that's exactly what she did. And now she's writing up the agreement and sending out to him. Because I told her that we can probably accept the seller price at the 350. But instead of telling him, coming back to him and say, hey, you know, I think we can make the 350 work. Because when you say something like that, the seller automatically, because you, because you're at 335 and he's at 350. And then all of a sudden you came back, you, you changed your mind, you'll be like, Sometimes, I'm just saying not all the time, but sometimes the seller will say, yeah, you know, uh, I think, yes, that price, I, it's going to work, but just can you give me a day or two to think about it just to make sure? So I'm telling you is that to eliminate that, to eliminate the chances of the seller saying anything like that, get the commitment first before you drop a, another price. Does that make sense, you guys? So... I hope this little tip's helped you out. If it does, let me know. Comment, let me know. And the thing is, you guys, if you really want to take your communication skill, negotiating skill, locking property up on a contract over the phone without going out to see the property or meet the seller, let me show you how to do that with the King Kong Seller Script Package. If that's something you're interested in, the link is in the bio. But as, as I always say it, it's only for those of you who can look me in the eyes and say, Kong, I am ready. I am committed, man. I really want to take my game, my business to the next level. I really want to know how to just lock these deal up under contract. I want to get better at converting, the, at converting these leads into actual deals. Because when you get a bunch of calls or you're making a bunch of calls, 
but you're not getting this Papi Lockup the contract, there's a problem. The problem is you don't know how to talk, you don't know how to communicate, you don't know how to negotiate with the seller. So let me help you out. If you only for those of you say, Kong, I'm ready, I'm committed, man. Right? Because I don't want you guys to think that this is like a magical script where you get in all the sellers will just fall into your lap. No, it's not. It's not like that. You still have to do your marketing and everything like that. But I'm telling you is that when you do do your marketing, it's very important when you pick up that calls or you when you make that call, the first impression, if the seller feels like you're not legit, they feel like this is a scam. If you don't answer the question properly, if you don't know how to negotiate, you're not going to be able to get this deal on the contract. Listen to me. How else are these? How else are all the people out there getting deal on the contract? It's talking to seller. It's talking to seller. Yeah, it's the number one skill set that I believe that you need to learn and you need to definitely master. Like you need to learn and master the number one out of anything. It's not the marketing. It's the number one key. Is you gotta know how to talk and negotiate with the seller. You gotta know how to. So, um, or maybe for some of you, you know how to talk to seller. But what if I can help you convert it better? And what if I can help you lock it up on a contract all over the phone? Just like what we did with Greg at the We Life 19. Lock that property up under contract all over the phone, baby. So, anyway, if that's something you're interested, a link is in the bio. I'll see you. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.